We are now going to download our presentation to the computer and then upload it to slideshare.net. And here's how we do this. We come over to File, go down to Download, and we're looking for the option to export it as. And, and a number of these will work, but let's just use Microsoft PowerPoint. I'm going to save it to my desktop. So I'll select Desktop here. And I had named it my presentation. If you didn't already do that, I would you know, name it this now just so you know what it is. And click Save. Once it's there, I need to go to my SlideShare account. And just a reminder that LinkedIn owns the SlideShare setup, and so you have to have a LinkedIn account to create the SlideShare account. We are using LinkedIn in class as well, which is really cool. But once I'm signed in, you can see my face right there, I click Upload, select Files, go to my desktop, and I'm looking for my presentation. Notice I'm not using PowerPoint at all. I don't need that program it's automatically going to upload my presentation here. While it's doing that, I'll write a brief description saying, you know, this is a presentation uh, demonstrating my skill. Look at that. I can't. Yeah, that, that works. Demonstrating my skill at creating a slideshow. And I could put more in here and so on and so forth. Category, education. We want the public to see it because we're going to put this in our blog. And I could put a tag education, uh, presentation, and so on if I want to. Then I publish. Once I've published, the web address, which you see right up here, is what I'm going to need to put into my blog post. We'll come back to that at some other point. But the point is I have it at SlideShare. It's published. I can publish it or I can embed it into my blog uh, with this address right here. But let's say you find a goober in your presentation and you need to re-upload it. A very common problem. So let's just pretend it's a different time and we come back to our account. And if you click here under your login icon and click My Uploads, you'll see the presentations you've uploaded. And if you click Edit, boom. You're going to see a really neat option called re-upload. What this will do is, let's just pretend that we had already embedded the presentation into our blog. It's all there. It works great, except there's a typo. If I come over here and click re-upload, I can upload the new version of the presentation, and it will automatically replace it with the, uh, replace the old one. I don't have to go back to my blog, I don't have to get a new link, I don't have to do any of that stuff. So basically you can re-upload and replace the presentation as many times as you need to. You don't have to do anything else if you published it or embedded it somewhere else. That's a really cool feature. So feel free to use that. And many people will need to use that because there will be some problem that you didn't catch on the first preview of it. And that's how we export from slides to upload to slideshare.net and get ready to embed it into our blog.